30, sorry. She's from France. She's from France. Top seed number six, 28 years old, number 42 on the world ranking, European champion with the French team in 2019. Please welcome Miss Enora Villar. play against uh, the top seed number one uh, from Belgium. She is actually 15 on the world ranking, 24 years old. She won four PSA tournament and recently she won the Ansi Rose Open. Hello, Mr. President. How are you? The president of Dancy, the de, de, club of squash Dancy, who came to do the tour. Please welcome Tine Gillis. <laughs> Referee table, Mr. Nicolas Barbeau, and uh, video referee, Mike Welcome back to semi-finals day with these two competitions running alongside each other. The first matchup is the Women's Open, the 30K PSA Challenger event presented by Expression Networks here at the RM Club in Mauritius. It's the second day with the ladies being on this glass court, which is a permanent fixture in this tremendous state-of-the-art club. Tina Gillis, the number one seed from Belgium. She'll be playing Anora Villard of France, the number six seed, Frida Mohamed. The young Egyptian from Cairo, she's the number three seed, taking on the experience of Melissa Alves, the number two seed, also from France. And just to reiterate that the men's matches will be in between each of the ladies' semi-finals. Well, joining me is Paul Johnson for all these semi-finals this evening, unless he has a more important engagement. What could possibly be more important than semi-finals night in Mauritius, Joey? <laughs> cocktail, cocktail night down on the, the Lux Belmare, maybe. It's <laughs> a distant second. I mean, just look at the lineup. It's been a great week of squash so far. These ladies have pretty much sliced their way through the draws, apart from Alves. She was in good form last night against Cortese. She had to be because she was really down and out. She was, yes, and uh, Cortese would be kicking herself today. But Gilles v. Bayard in the uh, first semi final should be an interesting matchup. Tina Gillis, you'd have to have down as the heavy favourite. Unfortunately, you see there the number four seed, Lisa Aitken, had to withdraw through uh, a bit of a virus. Yeah, and uh, it's been reported that she's feeling a bit better. She was. She was out on the boat with the turtles earlier today, but she has been knocked for six by it. There's been a few of the ladies that have had the norovirus, but Villar not playing yesterday. So, I mean, she's been hanging around quite a while. 28 years of age. Been around a long time now. Played in the World Championships. Cairo came up against Noron Gohar, which is a very tough first round encounter but she played well there it's on the glass court she'll get a lot of support being one of the French team players with this being a heavily stacked French tournament Just quick ghost in trying to get that uh, body going getting ready for the hard hitting Gillis Naila Gillis having to pull out due to hip injury that she is having stem cell surgery on in the next couple of weeks tearing the labrum which is quite common with squash players some can manage it depends on the size of the tear actually like a leapfrog there Villa she's uh, doing all sorts of 
different movements, keeping herself going, and a warm-up, obviously, before this, but very, very active. Good opportunity here for Tina Gillis, being the number one seed, 24 years of age, kind of getting close to that top 10. It won't be that long before she is in the top 10 mix. Looks in very good shape physically. She does, she's got a bit of a tan as well, which adds a lot to the cosmetic fitness Time. side of the of the sport. Yeah, I know something that your father was a huge advocate for back in the day, Joey. Absolutely, if you can't do it, get fake tan on. It's gonna come out like a tangerine. Bit of cosmetic one at that. <laughs> look that bit healthier don't you with the tan I mean you look fantastic thanks Joey much feel better it. Feel it. with a tan you don't look anywhere near as old oh, not so fantastic 4-1 head-to-heads in the uh, matchups between these two just 34 minutes average match time the sole victory for Vayar was a two love victory best of three I'm sure it's Villar would you like to uh, put a dark and stormy cocktail on it well if we can find one yeah okay is it do you know that is for a fact have you spoken to her no i haven't but i'm just going off of my knowledge of french which is extensive yeah i'm going there for villa in 30 seconds I'm go for Vaya. okay we'll ask her we'll find out we'll get some confirmation oh yeah, we need it we'll need a referee though because i don't trust you a witness there we start in 15 seconds. tina gillis the number one seed from Belgique, taking Enora. Villa. Would that translate to Nora in English? <laughs> from France. RM Club Women's Open 2022, presented by Expression Networks, semi final match. Tinnigalis of Belgium to serve, Enora Villar of France to receive best of five games. Well, you owe me a dark and stormy. Oh, I do. Although you have been calling her Villard all week. <laughs> I said Villard. Silent D. Well, if you can find me one, I'll be very, very impressed. Yep. Trademark start. Back in Gillis. Drop. One love. Rapid fire here for Achilles. Yeah, it's well played. And now one, just two. taking to control of the front of the court. It's good movement though from the number one seed. the reward for finding the back of the court it's been Tour. quite uh, prominent this week back two corners if you don't win the point straight away you give yourself plenty of opportunities take the ball in short Now, 
just null it. 402. Two. Solid start from Tinehillis. 5 2 lead in the first game. He's come out strong, setting a stall out early on, which is just what the doctor ordered for the Belgian. Looks sprightly. Well, Gillis trying to take time away from Villa. I think it's settle on the ball, PJ. Is that a double in that dark and stormy? It will be, yep. It's possible to request that yeah, for the uh, Paul Cole match. Whenever you like, Jake. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Pressing on. She's looked very, very comfortable. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't far away. Very, very comfortable on the glass court. Suited up. Game fast front wall. Pretty dead. Down. It's a gift. It's a sit up. And out nine. An opportunity there for Villa, especially knowing that the opponent's strings are gone. It's a bit of an appeal here from Villa. Yeah, but still it's a winning shot. Tidy first game from the number one seed. Still out there practicing away. Yeah, just trying to get used to that new racket. Broke the strings of the other one. Eight minutes in duration. Gillis takes the first game here in the first semi final of this women's competition in Mauritius.
just what the doctor ordered from the number one seed. All the pressure was on the shoulders of the Belgian. But she came out strong, took the game to Villar of France. She got a length, she pinned the French lady into the back two corners, and then when she had the opportunities, it's primarily on that backhand side. It's a real strength area for Gillis. Just rumped through in eight minutes, pretty quick first game. Solid start. Seconds. Gillis leads one game to love. Love all. So Tina Gillis with a one love lead. court has played so dead it's very warm in this center but the court is it's such a great court to play on it's a very true bounce players being rewarded for their length and it's taken a shot into the front so it's perfect conditions really Pretty ruthless this by Gillis, isn't it? He's certainly come looks, here looks to strong. Looks good. win the competition. I mean, that is very comfortable at home on the glass court. Five love. If you were coaching Tina Gillis, what would you be looking to work on? First thing I'd look at, Joey, forehand grip. That would be the first issue to address. Fantastic backhand side, that's Six the stronger love. suit for me, forehand just a little bit closed under pressure, that could get exposed. Second thing, and this is for her, for me to go to the next stage, Seven. from the tee, first motion, looking to hunt the volley more and not go backwards. Seven love. Superb she advice. Can, can settle into a bit of a, a, a habit where when she's on the tee, with a racket preparation, she kind of falls back into the back corners too frequently for me. Sure. When she's under a little bit less pressure, then she does look to hunt it down. But when she's up against somebody of her own level and higher, I just feel she falls into that pattern and doesn't use her athleticism to more of an advantage. Well, she doesn't have a coach yet, PJ, so... <laughs> she's doing 
Doing pretty well without one, Joey, if that's the case. Nine low. And out, one nine. Well, this is quite uh, quite a demoralisation for Villar in this second game. Tina Hillis has been extremely dominant, absolutely romping through that second game. 11-1 in double quick time. Two love lead for the number one seed in a very short duration. Yeah, this is uh, very efficient. 15 minutes in total. The Belgian leading by two games to love in an all European encounter here in Mauritius. Well, Tina Hillis continuing that kind of form that she had in the first game, taking no prisoners against her opponent here. Villar of France just really has not been allowed to come out of the gate at all. Anything that she tries is being quashed by the Belgian. Accuracy needs to improve from the French lady. Very quick, two love lead. Well, got a real treat coming up for you. The three generation of PSA legends spot the odd one out there. Jahangir Khan, Jonah Barrington and Nick Matthew. Once in a lifetime event, playing seconds. and learning from these great players of different generations in London between the 24th of October and the 29th. So go and check it out at the Squash Retreats website. And it's certainly a once in a lifetime experience. Absolutely brilliant. I know which one I'd choose, but uh, I'd be being slightly biased. Would I? Not, I don't think I would. What do you think about that one, PJ? Play Absolute belter. What a wealth of knowledge. Jangi Khan, Jonah Barrington. And Nick. Fifteen seconds. Gilles leads two games to love. Love all. So Tina Gillis, two love lead in just over 15 minutes. Quite the performance from her so far. Can't see her slowing down any time soon. Feel like this court really suits her, the fast front wall. And the dead corners. Does it? Pat, that's what I'm talking about with the movement there from Gillis. Yeah, she looks to take, she looks a step bit more forward, doesn't she, on that right leg for the back end volley side, drop. Yeah, but she certainly peels off. Slightly One pivots up. off on the forehand, so you'd be looking to feed her till kingdom come on that side. Down. And out. One all. Well, she needs a decent start here, Villa. Try and get into this match somehow. And a walk over with Lisa Aitken, sadly. Having to pull out due to illness and need some time on court, PJ. Well, that can sometimes be the issue, can't it? Mullet. Hand out. Stayed very short. 2 1. Good boast. 
Working both, second bounce in the nick. It's a clever shot from Gillis. Certainly exposing her opponent at the front of the court. That's good movement. That's aggressive hitting from Villar. Better pressure there from the French lady. And out, two, three. Clever. She saw that Villar had actually set off to go heading back four, two. for the cross court drive. She see that here and then she just takes it back into that front left for the winner. Yes, sir. Just a little bit of, uh, four, <laughs> bit of hip contact there. See if we can get a little look at uh, what we're talking about with the movement from Gillis. Talking about the backhand side where her first motion on the backhand especially is pretty good across the middle, looks to hunt the ball off and chop it in with the volley. On the forehand side, she just peels off Call and service, reverts more to the back of the court. I feel she can do that area a little bit more frequently. Sorry, attack that area a bit more frequently. There you see how she's attacking that backhand side, taking time away from her opponent. Terrific width and length. Six two. Get so you literally outright winner all day long. It stays so short. It's a fascinating court the way it has played throughout the week. But again, I'll keep yeah. reiterating. It's the not so comfortable that side. Yeah, three, six. The court maintenance team have been superb with the added humidity in the building and the fact that we've not had. Just touch the top of your head. A bit of wood. <laughs> uh, touch mine. Any bad slips or issues? One or two small little issues, but nothing no. nothing of significance. Let's no. hope it stays that way. Obviously. We were fearing the worst. We were a bit worried initially. Yeah. Four, six. Getting back into this here, Villa. Yeah, it's good to see her try and salvage something. Use of height to get herself out of trouble. Talk to Villa. Play review, Elise, on a stroke decision. Bit of space to the right hand side, possibly. Get another look at this. It's not a great shot. I would say it's not a bad shot there, PJ. You're being very, very harsh. Quality of the shot wasn't that bad, mate. It was quite short. That's not short, Joe. I, I, that's to me. That's a short back and sides. Well, talk to Villar. Decision. Explain your upheld. highest ranking. He says no reviews remaining. Well, that's not very nice. Five six, right side. Goodness gracious me! You might as well just open me up. Go on, get the knife and do it. Could explain why, obviously, I wasn't as short as needed to be. Uh, oh, she's got, got it. Oh, that's very. Oh, <laughs> that could be a nine left, Nelson. <laughs> that was silly. She could have played that. Uh, kind of chance. She's nowhere near this. So it stayed so tight and it was at a height that yeah. because of her movement when she wanted to plant her leading leg, the ball had actually gone. Watch this here. She's gone to plant there. That yeah. ball's gone. Unfortunately, this would be the best. It's going to be a no lit. No lit. The decision upheld. Villar has no reviews remaining. 
remaining and out 7-5. Stayed up, she's going to get another stroke. And out six, seven. Just manages to get the boast up there. Gillis is trying to clear by uh, Villar. Trying to push through, bit of a traffic issue. Down. And she's back to level peggings here. It's a very good uh, third game. Seven all. From the French lady. Appeal here from Gillis. I felt the ball was pretty good from Villar. She's yes, sir. Off of the ball. In. She's no, feeling it physically here. Yes, Seven all. Well, Tina Gillis furious I with the call. Thought the ball was well out. Yes, sir. From the from the left side. I think I thought you had room to play that. Yes, your serve from the left, seven all. And out eight seven. Big point there for Hillis. Just regain a little bit of control of this third game. It's working hard to push up the court here, Villar. Court service, please. Once again, as you've alluded to, Joey, this team here have been absolutely superb. Very, very efficient. Week. Very on it. It's been, it's been very, very good, and just what we needed. Minimal time hasn't affected anything in terms of rhythm of matches. So Gillis now nine, nine seven. seven, two points clear with that two game to love lead. First trademark. 10 7 match ball. Bread and butter for Gillis. Three match balls to book a place into tomorrow's final. The number one seed looking to cruise through this in three straight. Down. That's the hesitation. Again, you see, eight, she ten. lets the ball drop match too ball. low. Use that speed and that athleticism to step forwards and take this early on the volley. Sits back there. Well, she's done it. 11 8, Matthew Gillis, three she's games to love. 11 4, 11 1, 11 8. Very comfortable. It was a good effort, though, from Villa on that third game. She got very, very close. Took a bit of time to get into it, but she start, started to. Three love victory for the number one seed in just under half an hour. We're going to be hearing for her now with uh, Lionel. Tine, Tine, I have uh, I have two questions. First of all, uh, Tine, this morning uh, 
I heard you, you feel uh, not, not, not very well, and you are almost uncertain to play this uh, semi-final. So my first question, how do you feel now? And second, because of what's happened, how do you prepare your, your game? Well, I feel amazing, actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I just, I mean, I took some rest this morning, um, but as soon as I arrived here at the club, I felt a lot better, and I was very excited and motivated to play, and I was going to give it my all on course for sure. So um, even, like, even the days where you not feel 100%, like you, you still can find a way through, and that's what I did today, so I'm very happy and proud of myself. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Tine. Please, more applause because, believe me, she's sick. She's sick and, and she came here. Really professional. <laughs> well, lucky Lionel's not, not a manager. I <laughs> <laughs> can't, I can't oh, believe look that. At this me. Can't hide anything in Mauritius. Oh, it's a terrific effort, given the fact that, uh, believe me, she is sick, according to the MC. She won't be happy with that uh, disclosure, that's for sure, but she played very well tonight. And just what the doctor ordered, she's cruised through this in three straight, certainly not showing any signs of any issues whatsoever. Controlled the court from start to finish. Bit of a comeback from Villar in that third game, but in the end, the number one seed just proving to be too strong, too accurate and too clinical. So Tina Gillis into the ladies final in the men's competition. We've got Paul Cole taking on his good mate, Diego Elias, the number three seed from Peru. They'll be up at 6.30, so just over 20 minutes for the first men's semi-final here in Mauritius.